Hello everyone, this is video five of six from Antalya, Turkey. Yes, one more video before we leave. And I'm going to reveal where we're going in a minute. And uh, before I do that, I just wanna cover that exorbitant ATM fee I forgot to mention. Uh, when we were in is Istanbul at the airport, it was ridiculous, like 10%. I withdrew a little over 500 and I got charged 50 some dollars uh, for the ATM fee. Um, we have the Charles Schwab checking account uh, with the ATM card and their uh, good thing about the Charles Schwab is that they refund our ATM fees and I thought $50 was a little too much so I wasn't sure if they were going to refund it but they did. So we've been very happy with them. Uh, just the important thing to remember, declined the conversion charge. A lot of ATMs ask you if the, you want them to convert the money from US uh, or to US currency from whatever currency you're at, always decline it. Your bank automatically does it for you at the best rate. So that was good. We got, we got our money back. And uh, I will attach to this video after my intro uh, a list of the ATMs that are free here in Turkey and the ones that you have to actually pay. Uh, I, I have that in another video, but I'll attach it right after this intro the picture of the uh, screenshot of it that Christine actually just found it I think on Facebook or Instagram or you can just Google that uh, so where are we headed to next Christine and I are excited we're ultimately going to someplace nice and warm uh, but we're starting out we're flying out to Austria Vienna I know it's cold there but it's we're gonna spend a, a couple of couple of nights there a few nights uh, from there, we're flying to back to Lisbon, Portugal, one of my favorite places. Uh, we're spending two nights there. And then we're catching a cruise. Yes, an 18-day transcontinental cruise. And we're headed to Brazil. So we kind of made this decision on the fly. We're flying by the seat of our pants. It was like a one-night decision that we just decided to do this. People spend months and years making decisions on, the, on an 18 day cruise and we just decided to do it we said what the heck so we've got just about everything booked the only thing we don't have booked is uh our stay in brazil because the plan is to stay at least a week in brazil before we head back to europe who knows maybe we'll catch another cruise back uh if we find a good deal but i'll, I'll mention the uh, prices as we go along on uh, future videos, but I think uh, we got a pretty good deal uh, on all our travel. So we have our Airbnb booked in uh, Austria. We have our rooms booked in Portugal. We have the cruise booked. And the only thing missing right now is how long we're going to stay in Brazil and where we're staying there. So enjoy the video and we'll see you all on the next one. on the road today and we're gonna take one of those gondolas you see the gondolas up there on the left up to that mountain actually i think we're going to the further mountain this is the closer one oh, okay well, unless I, you want to go to this one we can go this one i right got there. fact checked <laughs> uh okay now we're gonna go to the bigger mountain this one is 600 meters up and then we're going to one that's 2400 meters up so a lot higher park the car up here Checking to see what's down below. Put on my sweater. Temperature dropped from about 81 degrees below to about 71 degrees up here so far. So we're not sure how cold it's going to be going up the mountain. Christine seems to think it's going to be really cold. Oh, I see some fish in this pond. Looks like some koi. And I see some other fish too. Okay, the sign says dangerous and forbidden to use the firefighter pond. So there's a firefighter pond. Somehow there's some fish in here though. Some 
big fish in the middle. Let me go see what Christine is taking pictures of. Oh, here are the big kois. Goldfish, whatever they are. Looks a little dangerous here. You bring any children, hold on to them. We need Matt's camera up here so we can zoom in a hundred times. Okay, we're inside the lift, the gondola. It's like it holds a fair amount of people. Unfortunately, a tour bus got here right when we were coming in. It was otherwise empty. It's uh, 30 euros each. I charged it, came out to 62, about $62 US for the ride up and back. It's like we're up in the heavens. Oh my god. This looks a little dangerous. The uh, chain is off of here. Kids can jump right off the side of the mountain. There are some small children running around here too. I have a professional photographer up here for us when they charge you 50 bucks for a photo. Oh, that's interesting. So it's 59 degrees Fahrenheit up here. It's not that bad. But it's warm in the sun. And we're above the clouds. Look at this. Wow. And they do have, uh, although uh, my internet was working okay, they do have free Wi Fi up here. It says you got to punch in your passport number and email. I just punched in a bogus number and email, and it works. Helicopter coming, and we're way above the helicopter. 
So this is Tahtali Dagi. The uh, name of the mountain is the tallest mountain in uh, Antalya. We thought it was Olympus, but I think Olympus is the company that runs the uh, tram and everything up here. Christine is getting warm in the sun. Christine asked, oh, I hear something what do we do if there's an earthquake up here? I said, we go in here and we pray. We're ready to drive back to our apartment. And what did you think of this place, Christine? You know, I liked it. It was pricey. It was very yeah. expensive, but it was a it was a lot of fun. Beautiful place. Yeah, it, it was uh, worth a visit one time. Agreed. Uh, yes. But uh, sixty one U S was kind of steep, but uh, it's just cool going up there. It's about a twelve minute ride up, twelve minute ride down. It was not the Alps. Yeah, but it, not it was the Alps. Beautiful by itself. I don't even know if it was cheaper than the Alps. Thirty bucks. <laughs> I don't, I don't know, know what it was. Yeah, I don't think it was. But. <laughs> But uh, just a cool place to check out. Sitting on a balcony patio today. Beautiful sunny day. Oh! F-16s. You can see the uh, you can see the, the Turkish uh, logo on the tails. Happily. Yeah, happily. <laughs> We're not under attack. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like they're spinning around coming back. 76 degrees and sunny today. A little breezy. A little breezy but beautiful day. And we're at Sandland at Lara Beach. It's just some kind of space adventure here. Not sure if we're gonna go in if it costs too much. I don't want to sound cheap, but we're on a budget. <laughs> uh, you know, the only thing with this car that I don't like, it doesn't have like a sensor or camera in the back. It doesn't beep when you come close to somebody. I think that's the first one we rented that hasn't had that in all of Europe. Yeah, and it's a fairly new car, but we just, uh, kind of you get used to backing up with a beep or a camera but and we found here in um, uh, probably all the turkey the stop signs don't mean anything <laughs> and crosswalks don't mean anything so uh, be careful at stop signs yeah we pretty much mean I, hurry up hit the gas before the car coming at you hits you <laughs> yeah I had to tell Christine to look up dur if it meant stop or slow down or yield or what because nobody stops the stop signs all right, let's check this place out. All right, we paid to get in. It was 10 euros each. I got the ding on my credit card, $21.12. And apparently these light up at night and you can come back on the same day ticket. Yeah, if and, we're here, if we're still in the area. Yeah, if you're still, she said after 6 p.m. And it's about one right now. She said uh, we can come back and it's uh, lit up and it looks really cool. And it's like a space theme. Uh, sand. Has to do with the space. So, now, uh, somebody build these with uh, in the sand? It's 
in memory of the first stray dog in, in uh, space. Soviet space dog. I'm assuming you never made it back, huh? Uh, maybe he's still living up there. How long ago was that? <laughs> okay. Left the Sand Sculpture Museum. Where's you think this place, Christine? Uh, I like it. It's pretty impressive. Yeah. Some of them a little beat up, and it's, I think it's toward the end of their lifespan. Yeah, it's worth, I thought it was worth a visit. Two thumbs up. It was 10 euros each, and we got a free bottle of water and a cup of coffee. There you go, yeah. So they got uh, sculptures of like historic, real events. Um, space travel and a and, lot of whimsy with uh, Star Trek and yeah a lot of uh, fictional Star Wars characters Yoda E.T. yeah so uh, nice uh, sculpture uh, we were reading it took uh, 30 days 40 people yeah to build all of these pretty impressive and yeah very very uh, every year with a new theme it sounds like yeah very nice and we're not sure if we're going to come back tonight or not because uh, it's just after two. So we have four hours to kill. Yeah, we probably won't be in the area. Yeah, it's supposed to be nice under the lights. So if you do come, you know, check it out at night maybe. Or come when, it's, when the sun's going down, check it out before and then hang around for the, the light show. And uh, we saw the F-16s flying overhead again. Uh, I don't see them now. Stopped at the food court at the mall for a quick lunch. I had RBs. Don't judge me. Christine had KFC. This is what's left of it. I had a uh, beef and cheddar extra large with fries and a soda. Christine had two chicken legs. Uh, mashed potatoes. Was it mashed potatoes? Because it didn't have any gravy. Some kind of potato. Gravy, but I was happy with that. So mashed potatoes. Mashed potatoes and some fries. Yeah, and um, a drink. So Christine's was about six bucks, and mine was a little over six bucks. They got all kinds of. Stuff. She wanted Burger King, but line was too long. But there's a Popeyes, donor kebabs, McDonald's, all kinds of stuff. They only give you one napkin. Christine actually got two napkins at KFC. Four? Wow. Um, 
They usually give you mayonnaise with the fries here. I don't know what that's about. We got some grocery shopping to do again, and uh, that's about it. We're going to call it the night. Another beautiful day in paradise. We thought it was supposed to rain all week, and it's been sunny and warm again. Huh, it's like tropical weather. Uh, we only got a few days left here. We looked out our window and at our patio. There are people lined up along the water again. And people on their porches with binoculars. So we're expecting some kind of show to begin here soon. Probably an air show is my guess. Just did a flyover. Four F-16s. And uh, you don't hear them until they're right on top of you. So I couldn't get that video. But I'm assuming with all the people out here. They're going to be swinging back around soon. Oh, here we go. Holy cow. Some of them had red smoke. I think it might be uh, a celebration of Autoturk. It is uh, November 11th right now. Happy Veterans Day to all my uh, U.S. military friends. Sunday in Antalya and uh, we got an outdoor bazaar market we went to Starbucks We're walking around here they got uh, good smelling food Christine is looking for a pair of authentic Turkish earrings for her auntie Kathy I'd say most of the food smells good. I just got a whiff of something bad here. <laughs> you can find everything here from uh, clothes to food, jewelry, cosmetics, produce. Purses, paintings. You name it. We're out on this beautiful day. It's about 70 degrees Fahrenheit. And Christine told me to stop. She wants to take a picture of this magnificent view of the mountains. Here's this side. Beautiful sunny day. 